I want to get to the bottom of all of this to the degree that that's possible. And I'm certainly seeing excesses on the leftist radical side with regards to the reformulation of the education system. And as far as I'm concerned, something needs to be done about that. But that's complicated and it's hard to do something about it without falling prey to potential excesses on the more conservative and traditionalist side. Here's a mystery. So people on the centrist liberal front and on the classic conservative front, the traditionalist conservative front, um, are concerned about institutional capture. So I've thought this through. Where's the fulcrum point for institutional capture? And as far as I can tell, given that 50% of the typical state's budget is spent on education, the leverage point is capture of the education system. And then you might ask, well, because that's 50% of all the money that's spent at the state level. Then you might ask, well, who's captured the education spending? And the answer is, well, teachers and administrators that are associated with the public education system. Then you might ask, well, who's captured them? And the answer to that is, well, the faculties of education. How? Well, they have a monopolistic hammerlock on teacher certification. And then the question is, well, why? Like the faculties of education, they produce the liter the the research literature produced by the faculties of education in the last 50 years has had a devastating negative effect on public education in the US. Time and time again, whole word reading, learning styles, the self-esteem movement, multiple intelligences, like you name it. If the faculties of education put it forward, it was wrong scientifically and disastrous socially. They attract terrible students, unconscientious students, most most particularly, who are attracted by the uh, what would the blandishments of being able to get a sinecure position with plenty of vacation and a well-established pension without any academic excellence whatsoever, and they're woke to the hilt. So why the hell have conservatives? gone along with the game of allowing the faculties of education to maintain a monopolistic hammerlock on teacher certification. I don't understand it. Well, well you know, I mean, they had uh, for, for a long time, but that's that's changed uh, in Arizona and Florida and many other states. They're revamping the certification. Uh, I've worked with folks and I've always advocated to actually just get rid of that certification cartel altogether. And, and saying, hey, look, if you have a bachelor's degree in physics, uh, you're qualified yep. to teach physics at a, at a high school level, for example. Um, and conservatives are doing that. But the problem is that while well, that was the initial entry point, and we know that from the literature of, uh, of, of the critical pedagogists, that was literally their plan. They laid it out Absolutely. in the 80s and 90s. They implemented it. They have, you know, the kind of dominance over that. But while that was the genesis or the origin, it's almost, you know, and we should fix it, yes, but it's now a small part of the problem because you have the teaching core, you have the teachers unions, you have the administration, yeah, you yeah, have the DEI yeah. bureaucrats, you have the, the actual pedagogical material that is created. And so you can't simply say well, that was the genesis of the problem. We can go back and, and, and solve the genesis and everything else will evaporate. You now have a multiplicity of, 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 of kind of, the, the, the locus is not singular anymore of, of the problem. And so we actually have to do a lot more. And the biggest problem though, even, wor even worse than the, the, the capture of the ed schools, is that these are centralized bureaucracies that are in theory accountable to the democratic votes of the people. Legislatures actually have oversight. The big problem is that legislators have really done nothing. And they've let these bureaucracies move anti-democratically to install this ideology. Look, no, none of the legislators in red states said, we wanna have mandatory DEI departments in all of our K through 12 schools. Right, none of them right, voted right. for critical race theory in the curriculum. But the activists within the state sector moved against the democratic will of the people uh, without the consent of the governed and installed them through a bureaucratic infiltration, let's say. And so if that is the status quo, and I think it's undoubtedly it is, I've done the reporting, it's been documented over and over, that's the actual question. Well, what do you do about that? You have a, a, a bureaucracy that has now gone totally rogue. It has overstepped its aut autonomy. It has totally transgressed the values of the public. It has, it has acted without the consent of the legislature. This is a political question. And our friends in the center left 
um, really what their aversion is to is to conflict. Uh, they maintain this position as the enlightened centrist. They feel like if they explain it well enough, they feel like if they go on a podcast, they feel like if they if they can you know write a a, a, a jazzy paper that the, that the world will conform to their good thinking. Um, that's never how it works. You have people that their livelihoods now, hundreds of thousands of people, depends on pushing this ideology within the public institutions. And so the question is, what do you do in that case? And the kind of classical liberal solution is a dodge, because what it does is it avoids the political nature of the question. Um, these are government institutions. These are institutions that are, are created and funded by taxpayers and that are under the regulatory power of the legislature. And so the legislature that has abdicated is now starting to move in, I think, you know, through my work, through Governor DeSantis, through other state legislators. They're now moving in to say, hey, wait a minute, we've let this go, go, go rogue for too long. We need to actually say these are political questions and they, they by nature, by their very nature, by their, by their essential nature, will require political solutions. Um, not merely uh, the kind of uh, light touch, um, you know, uh, uh, approach of people who think that, um, you know, signing a letter, an open letter um, is going to get the job mm -hmm. done. Mm -hmm.